the picture that they show you, ain't it? That's the, so you, when you close your eyes and you pray at nighttime, just be honest with me, bro. Who you think about? That's who you think about, don't you? That's who you think about. So you actually praying to him, right? Just be honest. I mean, we, we, we brothers. Right. Ain't nothing wrong with the truth. Only the men, not the boys. The head was a pass away with a great noise. The second Peter 3 and 10. God know he coming back. Tell a friend to repent. Oh, he going with the wind. Free smoke, free smoke. And that is thus said the Lord. I caught a murder that he wrote. Just like Noah on the boat. Matthew 24, verse 36 on down. But I would nobody knows. Like a thief in the night. When the Christ coming back here, life switching. But the Father won't. That's my business. When we keep it low, that's righteousness. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got it. Okay, what's your name again, bro? Glad you came. See that? Right on time. What's your name? Trail. 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 Now, I'm going to ask you again. We're going to get Revelation 1 and 14. Is this Christ? Is this Christ? I mean, it's a simple answer. Yes or no? Now, when you go to church, you ever been to church on trail? When you go to church, what kind of picture they got up of Jesus? That little girl got a What it look like? Do it look like this guy? Like that guy, which one, bro? Come on, bro, huh? Like that guy. So they show that this is Jesus. Now let's find out what the Bible says about Jesus. Right. That's what we learn about Jesus. If I'm gonna learn about Jesus, where do I gotta go? To the church. And the church supposed to be reading what? The Bible. So we got a Bible here. You see this Bible? We gonna read what Jesus look like out of this Bible trail. Got it? Read that thing, bro. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the Bible says, the Bible says Christ's head and his hairs were white like wool. So it was white in color, meaning it turned gray. Right. We call it gray, but it's actually white. But the, it also said that it, it was woolly. Now, here's the question for you, Brother Trail. Who got woolly hair on the face of this earth? Black. I'm looking at your hair right now. That's wool, bro. That's pure wool. Right. The most hot. Give me that, um, uh, Daniel, um, seven nine. I'm gonna show you. God got her just like you. You got her like God. The pure wool. Right. Look around. I want you to look around. Look at all these trees, right? You see these trees? Which way are they growing? They growing down or they growing up? What's your hair doing? Growing up to the sun, right? You hear that? Cause it's a lie. Now you can look around, uh, look at some of these sisters that got somebody else's hair in their head, and which way is it going? If they if they got somebody else's hair, like this this lady right here, she got some hair on. What, which way is which way is it headed? Why is it alive or is it dead? It's dead. Read this, bro. Read this, bro. Check it out, huh? The book of Daniel, chapter seven and verse nine. Check it out. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. And the ancients of days did sit. The ancients of the days talk about the most high God. Right. He ain't got no beginning, no ending. Read. Whose garment was white as snow. So God got a garment. If he got a garment on, I mean, if he got clothes on, what do you put clothes on? You got to have a what? You got to have a body, right? Right. If you're going to put clothes on, you got to have a body. Man, look at this madness, man. Read, read. And the head of his head like the pure wool. Wait a minute, Brother Trail. He got the same hair you got. This is God we talking about. Got the hair like what? The pure wool. Brother Trail, you got the pure wool, bro. That's so right. God got the pure wool and Christ got the pure wool. Let's see what Christ's skin color was. Hey, come on in, bro. Come on in, man. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 15. So what we doing, we talking about Christ and what Christ looked like. I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Brother Trail. 
Who is this right here? Who is that? That's the image of the beast. But um, when we look at movies and stuff, who they who they portray Jesus as? Right, right. But who is this right here? All right, read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 15. And his head, I mean, and his feet, like unto fine brand. So the scripture said Christ had feet like fine brass. What color is brass? Brown? It's brown, right? You understand that, bro? What's your name? What's your name? Washington. Edward Washington. Brother, brother Trail, read. As if they burned in a furnace. So if you burn anything in a furnace, what color it turn? What color it turn, brother Trail? So Christ is a what? He's a black man. You understand that, Trail? You know Christ is a black man now. Now, I see you got that cross on your neck, right? What's the purpose of that? What's the purpose of that cross? Huh? Tell me, tell me, you seen everybody else wear it. What's the purpose of it? That's why? It ain't got nothing to do with everybody else but why you wear it. You want the word? What does it symbolize? It symbolizes God. Why does it symbolize God? You say it symbolizes God too. Because he died on the cross. So if I, if if Christ had a guy shot with an AK-47, would I wear an AK-47 around my neck? Just think about it. This is something that Christ died on. Should we be walking around with it on our necks? Like we proud of that happening to us? You see that? You see this what, what's going on here? They're holding that cross. Give me her back at 2 and uh, 14. Her back at 2 and 14. 2 and 18. Read this thing. Read this thing. Thank y'all. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 18. What profit the graven image? So the scripture said, what profit the graven image? You understand, Brother Trail? What profit at the graven image? Read. That the maker of therefore thereof have graven it, the molten image, and a teacher of lies. So the scripture said that's a teacher of lies. That's teaching us wrong. Because when we were using the word at cross, who we think about? When we use the word cross, who we think about? Probably this guy right here. Right? Just be honest with you. Be honest with me. That's what we think about, this guy. When we were at cross. But this ain't Christ. Right. Read. That the maker of his work trusted his therein to make dumb idols. So that idol is dumb. It ain't gonna do nothing for you. Right. Nothing for you. Deuteronomy 725. Let me do the Deuteronomy 725. Let me show you something, brother Trail. How old are you, bro? How old are you? We out here teaching Christ is a black man according to the Bible. And then we are the Israelites. And we must come back and keep God's commandments. Right. And stop celebrating. Some old St. Patrick's Day. We must come back and keep God's commandments. You understand that, brother? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and verse 25. The graven image of their God shall be burnt with fire. That's what we're supposed to do. Hey, hey, y'all, brother. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Y'all all right? Come here. Let me ask, can, I ask can I ask them a question one time? I want y'all to, to show me what Christ said on this box, on this thing right here. What, which one of them Christ? Show me Christ. Oh, yeah, I like it. What do you say? What do you say? You said it's Christ? Y'all exactly right. That's Christ right. is a black man according to the Bible. That's and right. St. Patrick Day has nothing to do with the Bible whatsoever. That's right. St. Patrick had us in slavery. Right. He killed us. Right. But yet we want to serve him. We want to celebrate his day. Bring it out. What's wrong with us? Why are we doing this? Why are we so destroyed? Brother Trail, right back on you. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 25. The graven image of their gods shall be burnt with fire. That's what you're supposed to do with that cross. Burn it with fire. Read. Thou shalt no desire the silver or gold that is on them. Don't desire the silver or gold is made with. Read. An abomination to the Lord thy God. That's an abomination unto the Lord thy God. You know what an abomination is? That's something horrible. It's detestable. God hates that thing. You understand that? Right. I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm going to take you to, down the rabbit hole a little bit further. Give me Isaiah 30 and uh, 21, I think. Is that script I want? Isaiah 30 and 21? Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21. Let's see what God says about that cross, that graven image. Read that thing. The book of Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 22. Ye shall devile also the covering of thy graven image. Talking about the grave of them and the cross again. Read. Of oh, silver and the ornament of thy molten image of gold. 
of silver or it's gold, whichever one it is. We ain't supposed to have that thing, read. Thou shalt cast them away as a mistress cloth. Do you know what a mistress cloth is? You know what a mistress cloth is? Would a woman have their administration? That's the way you're supposed to cast that thing away from you. You understand that, bro? It's an abomination. It's filthy. Do you understand that? Brother Trail. You understand? We don't supposed to wear them things. We Israelites. We God's chosen people. We don't need that trigger to help us out. We got the most high God to help us out. He gave you hair to withstand this hot sun. You ever you ever seen in a black person get counsel? In the skin counsel? You ever heard of them? But when you see other people sit out in this sun like this, what happened to them? What color they turn? When you see the so-called white man out here in the sun, what color he turn? What? what? What color? What color he turn, bro? Red. That's what the Bible calls him. Esau. Esau, he turned red in the sun. Because he has no melanin. The Most High God done gave you that thing. You understand that? Right. Throw that cross away, bro. Throw that thing away, man. That ain't no bling bling. That ain't nothing. Right. You understand that? Keep the chain, throw the cross. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. Keep the chain, throw the cross away, bro. Get rid of that thing. Song of Solomon. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 10. You gone, bro? I know you're trying to turn out on me. You need to throw that thing away, bro. Brother, hey, what's your nationality now? You know who you are now. What, what are you? Huh? You already knew who you was? Well, what are you? Tell me. Huh? I can't hear you. You gone? Shalom. Give me Proverbs 1 and 20. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. I'm going to let you come up, soldier. I know you're itching back there. I'll pray, I'll pray to the most high. Read this down. The book of Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 20. Wisdom crieth without. So wisdom is out here crying right now. On St. Patrick's Day in Jackson, Mississippi. Hey, big bro. Hey, big bro with the green hat on. Come here, man. I, I, I need you one second, bro. I need you to help me out with something real fast, bro. I need you to help me out with something. What's your name, big bro? Carl? I'm over with Carl. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, too, brother. I see. What, what are you out here doing, bro? I'm out here just enjoying the day with the family. Enjoying the day with the family. Now, um, are you a Christian? Yes, sir. You're a Christian believing in the Bible, right? So, you believe in Jesus, right? Okay, could you show me what Jesus looked like? What, is that Jesus? Brother Carl, is that Jesus? Come on, brother Carl. Come on, see? Come on, man. That's the picture that they show you, ain't it? That's the, so you, when you close your eyes and you pray at nighttime, just be honest with me, bro. Who you think about? That's who you think about, don't you? That's who you think about. So you actually praying to him, right? Just be honest. I mean, we, we, we brothers. Ain't nothing wrong with the truth. Now, now, you, you're a Christian. You go to church and you pray to this Jesus right here. Now, we're going to read the Bible. If you got a few minutes, I need to read the Bible and show you what Jesus actually looked like. You got me, Brother Carl? All right. Give me Revelation 1 and 14. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Brother Carl. <laughs> what? You don't see the one? So wait, wait, wait. I keep going. I'll praise. I'll praise. Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. So, so what's going on, Brother Carl? That ain't him, man. That is not him, brother Carl. Can, do you see anything up here that's resist? No, wait a minute. Look a little farther to your left. Oh, okay. There he go. So, can just keep reading. Let's keep reading, brother Carl. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine bread. So the Bible says Christ got feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass, brother Carl? It's, it's gold, uh, derivative of brown, right? Re read. As if they burned in a furnace. So if I take that brown brass and I burn it in a furnace, brother Carl, what color does it turn? What? So who, who is this? The what? That's the image of the beast. They told us this was Christ. This is Christ according to the Bible. Let me show you what else comes with this guy right here. Because this guy, something else comes with him. Give me uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. I think verse 4. So check this out, brother Carl. Check this out. Because this guy here, all, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. You got it, bro? 
Let's read this. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10 and verse 4. Bring it out. For if he that cometh preach of another Jesus. Wait a minute, Brother Carl. It said if someone cometh and preach another Jesus, so this would be considered what? Another. That's another Jesus. That ain't the real Jesus, is it? Right. So if he come preaching another Jesus, read. Whom we have not preached. The Bible didn't say Jesus looked like that, so we ain't preached that, read. Or if he received another spirit, that's what I wanted to get to. Because this, along with this Jesus, comes another spirit. Comes a spirit that says that we can celebrate Christmas. Comes a spirit that says we can um, we, we can go to church on Sunday. Comes a spirit that says we can celebrate St. Patrick Day. When St. Patrick Day ain't do no, St. Patrick ain't do nothing but slaughter our people. That's why you got on that hat right now. You understand that? Because of this guy right here. They taught us that. That's why you got that cross on your neck. Because of this guy right here. That's another spirit. Hold what you got. Give me um Colossians 2 and 8. Let me show you something, Brother Carl. Let me show you something, man. Because this is this is why our people are destroyed. That's why we are here today. We're not supposed to be out here celebrating this. This man don't love us. This is a... Let's read what the Bible calls it. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. The book of Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you. So the, the, the scripture said, beware. Now, you walking past a, uh, a, a chemical plant, they might say, beware chemical. You understand what I'm saying? So it tells you to watch out, look out. So the Bible telling you, beware, lest any man spoil you, me, any man corrupt you, or take advantage of you. Read. Through philosophy. Through philosophy, meaning stuff that they done told you that ought to be, like, this is Christ. I'm going to make a movie and show him as Christ. Read. And vain deceit. Vain deceit means lies. Just straight up lies. Read. After the tradition of men. After the tradition of men. What is St. Patrick's Day a tradition of what? That's a tradition of man. It has nothing to do with us. Read. After the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. So this has nothing to do with Christ. St. Patrick's Day has nothing to do with Christ. Right. Nothing. You understand that, bro? But you, what you going to do now? I understand. You out here now, but what you going to do next year? Right, right. Now, I want to show you something. That you are, you are Israelite. You're not black. You're not African American. Right. You're an Israelite. Right. You're God's chosen people. And we must come back and keep God's commandments. You understand that? Right. Read that, bro. Deuteronomy 28, real fast. Let me show you something real fast. I need about 28, verse 16. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. So you live right here in Jackson. Mm -hmm. So you stay in the uh, better neighborhoods of Jackson or the worst neighborhoods of Jackson? Who stay in the worst neighborhood of Jackson? Neighborhood. What color? What color people stay in the worst na neighborhood of Jackson? Us. The so-called black man, right? The so-called black woman, the Hispanic and Native American. We stay in the worst parts of Jackson. Right. Say curse. Now, now, um, how many shootings happen in those neighborhoods every week? How many shootings? It's just so many. Yep. And so the Bible said that we will be cursed in the city. So in the city of Jackson, are we cursed? We cursed. Read. A curse shall thou be in the field. So it say a curse that we be in the field. So who's in the field right here picking that sugar cane, that um, cotton, that, that cotton? Who's picking that? Black. Now God said that this is going to happen to the Israelites. Do you understand me, Brother Carl? God, we read this out the Bible. He said this was going to happen to the Israelites. Now you and me know that this is happening to who? So if God said it's going to happen to the Israelites, who did that make us? We are the Israelites. We the what? That's right. Israelites. That's right. We the Israelites, Brother Carl. So once we find out that we Israel, it's, it's a certain thing that we got to do. You understand that? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 68. I'm going to show you something. How do we get to this side of the world, bro? They brought us here. They brought us here on what? Boats. Boats. Slave ships. Cargo slave ships. That's how they brought us over here. Cargo slave ships. Who brought us over here on those cargo slave ships? Who brought us? Who brought us? Let's call them what they is, bro. Call them what they is. White folks. They brought us over here on them cargo slave ships. We're going to see what the Bible calls them. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 68. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Now, you go to church, right? 
What was the Israelites doing in Egypt? They were, they were. Bring it out. They weren't free over there. They was what? They, they were slaves. So Egypt simply means slavery. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Slavery again. With ships. With what? With ships. How do we get over here? Yeah. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Talking about our homeland. We won't see our homeland no more again. You understand that? You understand that? Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. So, Brother Carl, once we get off them slave ships, the Bible says that we will be sold to our enemies. Who bought us when we got off them slave ships? What did it, now, what you call them? Right, but the Bible called them by what? The enemy. They don't love us, bro. So who put on this whole St. Patrick Day thing? Ah, uh, who? The enemy. Now, if a people don't treat you right, will they teach you right? They won't do it, bro. They won't do it. Come on. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.